And November is National Homeless Youth Awareness Month, and one Arkansas group is trying to help not just that population, but the unhoused as a whole. THV 11's Ian Russell spent the day learning about the community fridge and how it can help. Millions suffer worldwide from food insecurity each and every day, and it's happening right here in Central Arkansas as well. But one group here in Central Arkansas is trying to change that right here in their community. And that metaphorically plants a seed in, in people that will make other people want to do good for those in their community. It didn't start easy for Ziggy Carr and the Arkansas Community Advocates. I would say at the very beginning, uh, we didn't have a lot of support but I didn't let it discourage me. But he's not letting that stop him from helping those around him. As long as I've been in North Little Rock, I've seen a lot of poverty. I've seen a lot of homelessness. There's uh, housing projects down the road, down the road that way, and communities just like this are the ones that need it the most. Carl lives in North Little Rock, but the issue of food insecurity is bigger than just north of the river. The Arkansas Food Bank says one in five people in central and southern Arkansas are food insecure, meaning they don't know where their next meal will come from. The car is trying to make that part a little bit easier. Uh, we've placed this community refrigerator here for people in the community to have more direct access to uh, uh, just any food that they need, whether it be non-perishable or perishable goods. This is the community fridge, a refrigerator on 24th Street that anyone can take what they need from. Bread, veggies, and other ingredients are available for those that need it. Extra food that may have otherwise gone to waste is donated by local restaurants. This isn't here for any gain. It is, it's not here for anything but just that, trying to help the community. And that's not the easiest thing to do. This slows the problem, but it doesn't help everybody. You can never help everybody, and that's a given. Whether it's one person, two people, 50 people, 100 people. If you can do anything just to help one person, that's what's important. But this is a start. Carr says they've already helped hundreds in the community, and he says that's all it takes. One step to help those around you. Really having motivation to, to help others, regardless of a profit motive, regardless of any benefit to yourself. And that's what it really takes, is just being devoted to it, no matter how hard it is. It'll get easier, and we're all capable of doing a lot to help humanity. In North Little Rock, I'm Ian Russell, THV 11 News.